Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about both SSX games on the GBA. SSX Tricky is an amazing technical marvel. The game is a downscale version of the original game and the two versions are pretty close considering what specs the GBA has to offer. It includes 12 riders and 8 courses from the PlayStation 2 version of the game and it also has an arsenal of more than 50 different tricks you can pull off. And most tracks are recognizable from the big version. They aren't the exact same, they are dumped down and there are no shortcuts or detailed stuff, but the art style is very similar to the tracks you get on the big version. There are three main events, race, show off and time challenge. The only complaints I can have about the game is that the character models are ugly, not only of not only the one of your character, but the other characters you race with look like 2D models slapped onto something 3D and the draw distance is poor. But I can't really complain about this, considering that it's already a great technical achievement what they did with this game as it looks now. In SSX 3 the slopes are larger and wider, and this version looks more like the SSX on PS2 and GameCube. It imitates the big console experience, how it can, and you have to give the game credit for that. I mean sure, it's the worst version of SSX, because the other ones, being on more powerful consoles, of course they are better. But still, pulling off such a game is a technical marvel. You even get shortcuts in the tracks. The game has 12 characters and 12 events scattered across two mountains. Not bad, considering that the console versions have 17 events spread across three mountains. By doing events you can unlock new boards and clothing and you can upgrade the stats of a character. You can battery save and you can even transfer money between the GBA and the GameCube version of the game. Doing tricks is more basic than in the big version, but still, for a GBA and especially a game of this caliber, the tricks are awesome. The single complaint I can have with this game is that the other players are rubber banded and that the frame rate is choppy. But about the frame rate, I can't really complain. I mean, it's a 3D snowboarding game chock full of features on the GBA. It's a technical marvel. And not only that the game is a masterpiece because of what it can pull off technically and content wise, but the gameplay is almost as fun as the big versions, as the original game. It may not be as smooth and doing tricks feels more basic, but remember, this is a GBA and having such a fun factor and such gameplay on a GBA, it's the game is a masterpiece. 